for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction, as Isaac Newton told us. And we can demonstrate this now. We get some fuel, and I've got a little fizzy tablet here, just half of one. And the idea is that when you add water to this fizzy tablet, it fizzes and it gives off a gas. Now, you've turned it upside down, so that pressure is now going to build up inside that little canister. And eventually something is going to go, and all the water and the gas is going to push down. Did you see that? Push down into the desk, sending the rocket the equal and opposite way. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how every rocket works. Except they use massive alka to get into space. What do you think that the future of gaming might be? Well, we're getting now to the point where mixed reality and augmented reality are actually going to be meshed together in headsets to allow you to lay the game world, a proper game world, onto the real world. Um, and we went to a go-karting um, track that are using mixed reality headsets to enhance the experience on the track. Jill, when I thought we were doing a session on health technology, the last thing I was expecting was to be talking about space. From our point of view and from NASA's point of view, I've got a demonstration of a piece of kit really that's been designed by NASA. It's called an anti-gravity treadmill. And they put their astronauts on this type of kit and gradually increase the amount of gravity that they're exposed to, to help rehabilitate their bones and bring their osteoblastic activity back, in, back into line almost and make their bones more dense again back on Earth. Hello everybody, welcome to Team Tech city of tomorrow today is our build day your challenge this week is going to be to come up with a building that tackles some of the problems that we face in our cities today and we'll set you the challenge to imagine design develop, and then construct a building for a city of the future artificial intelligence is the most astonishing uh sort of revolution that's going to happen in technology with AI there's one big difference which is that you are now inside the story so what that means is that it's not just a question of sort of information and choosing to go left or right. It's choosing how you talk to someone, whether you treat that fictional character with respect, whether you make them angry, all of those things. And that changes the story. So so for us, it's a lot more uh, immersive. For the next couple of weeks, we're going to take you through the entire process of creating a short film within your school. A big part of it is storytelling. So understanding how a story works works, there's danger, there's trouble, there's ups and downs and understanding how to weave a story together is really important for engaging your audience. Yeah, and my background's in physics um, and I've always been fascinated by the idea that underpinning all technology is fundamental components of the universe like atoms and electrons and elements. I've taken some pictures and some everyday items that you, you should recognise. Our students are suggesting maybe snowflakes or a hair, a rock. What are we looking at Thomas? It's actually a, a one pound coin. Um, that image was magnified by over a thousand times. So I've actually got the one pound coin that it was here, you can see, this is the point, the coin. We are a global cyber security company. The students seem to think that this one is a fake email. They're mm -hmm. pointing us towards the fact uh, that the email address up the top there, the domain name doesn't match uh, the website. So that is exactly um, a big tip to look at. If the domain name is spelled incorrectly or it doesn't match who's actually sending you the, the email, it's a massive indicator that it's not actually a legitimate email. I'm joined today by three people that worked on one of my favourite games this console generation, uh, Journey to the Savage Planet. Uh, uh, you know, we came up with that character and then, yeah, even though he's the first character and he's meant to be farmed for resources, but he was very, very cute. So we had yeah. to make sure that uh, we added a line in the in the dialogue where your your AI companion sort of empathises with you that they're too cute to shoot. But that's all, that's what we could do with the late stage. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of the, the first time one went into the the meat vortex. I was kind of just I, I, I felt terrible. Well, that's funny. That's humour. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's exactly what we wanted. Yeah. <laughs>